Hi, this is Travis Rogers, CEO of Dr. DDS. We have been working hard over the past year with the high level team to create high level for dental. So GHL for dental. I'm going to talk about some of the tools that we've built, some of the, the tools that we provide you with. If you are not an agency uh, for Go High Level, um, then you're in the wrong place. <laughs> Uh, we don't sell direct to dentists. We don't give uh, advice. We can send you over to some of our partners. Um, but uh, if you are a high level agency and you want to better target sell to dentists, you're in the right place. So I want to talk about the team, the use cases of using high level integrations um, and how we built that in the dental space. Talk about the pricing, some add ons, demo of our integration, and then how you how you sell your services to dentists and give you some tips and tricks on how to do that. We've been doing this a long time, launch, uh, helped launch a lot of products, uh, built a lot of products, sold a lot of products, uh, all technology related. I grew up in Silicon Valley um, and uh, have uh, podcasts and all kinds of stuff that we do. So I do have a great team. You guys are gonna be excited to work with them. Kristen is fabulous on the sales side, very responsive. My team is available on just about any channel you could imagine. So WhatsApp, Skype, um, Slack, email, etc. Grace um, has been doing customer support for a very long time. Um, very, re very responsive. Heather working on partnerships and she's our GHL expert internally. And then Lou, uh, who does the integration work, the white glove integrations for our clients and people love working with Lou. A um, lot of use cases for this. That's the beauty of it. A lot of um, different scenarios. And obviously we all know GHL is constantly bringing out new functionality, which makes it even better. So patient reminders, review. Doctors love word of mouth referrals. So if you can get them more of that, that's a great starting point. 70% of all word of mouth referrals actually schedule and accept treatment. And they're always looking for better treatment acceptance. So that's another area you can help them focus on figuring out what's important to them, what treatment they like to do, and then doing more of that and helping them get more of that. Um, patient scheduling is a popular use of this as well. Email blasts and texts, um, voicemail drops, things like that, because none of the practice management systems do that. Um, they're also very dirty. So um, a lot of the practice management systems don't have email addresses or phone numbers. So there's a way that you can create a campaign to collect phone numbers if you have an email and vice versa. Patient reactivation, they love that. And obviously as it approaches the end of the year, insurance usage. So the basics of our integration, we've got a basic package here. It's $115 a month per location. We pay the $40 fee um, to the practice management system. We do follow their developer program rules. Um, we are their only certified integration partner for many of those practice management systems. We've been doing this a long time. We've got over 10,000 integrations under our belt. Most people know us as Dr. DDS or Record Link. Those are kind of the two brands that we're known under. So dental practices should be very comfortable with this. We do um, very exhaustive HIPAA compliance. We have a $2 million cybersecurity policy that we, we carry. Uh, we have uh, hosting that's 95% uptime. We'll help you set up those accounts. We'll help you with the talk track of how to get the installs done. We can also do a full service install for you. And up at the top, we also provide um, a database. So we have a database that we've been working on for many years of all the dental professionals in the industry. We've been doing some barter on trade for people to buy the full database, but as a part of Installing your first five clients will give you the entire state that you live in, which typically includes about 5,000 or so dentists. We also do have some add-ons. So we've got an off-the-shelf analytics tool that can be iframed in. It's called Scout Analytics. You can go to scoutdental.com to learn more. It tracks about 20 indicators, mobile, desktop. We also have the ability to white label that product as well. So with a small setup fee and a little bit more monthly, you can have your own white labeled version of Scout, which is this product right here. Um, here's kind of a sample of some white labeling that we've done, color scheme changes, some of the layout works as well. So let me just talk to you a little bit about that. So first of all, we need to set the accounts up for you. So grace and support. If you email this spreadsheet, which is on our website to support at drdds.com, she will set these up for you in bulk. 
Um, very important. We can quickly do those for you. She does a great job of setting up those profiles. You can also sign up directly here um, for the practice and um, then sign in. And uh, what I first like to do is actually create an easy username. So I'll go to account settings and create an easy username and password as a starting point. And then I ask them to change the password once the integration is done. So first, next thing to do is actually to start with the integration. So believe it or not, if you have a new client, a new client of GHL that is a dental practice, the best route to go, first thing to do is actually to integrate into their practice management system. What that does is it gets us all the information about the practice, makes it a clear, a clean connection from their dental practice management system over to GHL. Um, so I'm going to take you through kind of what it looks like to do the install with Open Dental. We actually have a Google Sheet that you can share directly with the dental practices. Most of them either know us, have us installed, or are familiar with similar products that they've done installs. So you need to be logged in as a server admin for all these installs. We can do it with you. We'll show you how to do it, give you the confidence to be able to talk track uh, through there. Once it's done, all those integrations, all those patients show up, synchronizes every 10 minutes. And uh, then it allows you to basically create the, the connection to GHL. We call it other CRM. And you notice here, there's really no branding around this. So you can iframe this window into your GHL as well, if that's what you'd like to do. Um, but all we need from you is an agency key. And this gives us everything we need to know about the offices that you work with. Um, so you'll enter the agency key there, hit save, go down to manage CRM, turn on the location. And the first thing that you do is you, you basically synchronize the location from our practice management system over to GHL. I'll show you what that looks like in, in a second. Uh, when it's a new install this is one that's already been mapped but basically with all these fields you can create new you can not synchronize or you can synchronize to an existing contact location or operatory or calendar in the system so the third part of this is syncing appointments very popular um, basically allowing the dental practices to book appointments through there. The one limitation is that the practice management systems do not allow us to write that information in. Um, that is a limit, not our limitation, it's a limitation of the practice management systems. Open Dental does actually allow it, but Dentrix and EagleSoft do not. So be careful when you're offering up the ability to write scheduling back in, um, just due to those limitations. So the beauty of this is they also can just accept it. And honestly, the truth, truth of the matter is most people, most of the dental practices want to control those appointments and have at least some sort of gate where they can accept uh, an appointment in. So what we can do is we can have multiple operatories syncing to a calendar. Uh, you can create a new one. You can not synchronize an operatory or you can... Uh, you know, choose which one you synchronize there. We always say sync, allow duplicates on the sync patients um, down below because there's situations where a patient may be a child of a, of a parent uh, with the same email or phone number. So you may want to turn that on. I'm going to show you real quick what it looks like to do a new install. I showed you what it was like to have an install done. Um, and I'll walk through that in the demo in just a second here. But this is what it looks like. So once it's created, it creates the, the company name, the email, the, the uh, information about who they are, their address, all this stuff gets populated from the practice management system over to your GHL. And this is just our test account. Again, we do not sell direct to dentists. Um, here's the, the uh, patients. Inside of the patient file, there's some tags that you can add. There's also some information about procedures um, that show up in the calendars as well. Then here's the team. These are the two doctors that are associated with this account. Here's what the schedule looks like. Shows the available times. This is a single operatory. Um, in some cases, actually, it looks like on Tuesday it has the two operatories synchronizing there, and those can be done through the drop-down calendars up on the top right there. So first thing, when you're going through a new install, you select. You can create new here, and what it does is it actually waits an hour and then it synchronizes the location and then you can go down and go ahead and start synchronizing the other aspects of it there. So I'm going to show you real quick a live demo of what that looks like. So 
Here's where this is. I just created a new location in GHL, um, selected that as it, it, in the drop down here, and it takes about an hour. So once that's done with the initial synchronization of the location, it'll then show you the users. And so this one still, oh, it has synchronized. It defaults. So first thing what you want to do is want to turn that switch on over at the right side. It defaults to do not sync. But if we want to create a new user, let's just say we want to create three new users here. And this is the East Brainerd Dentistry. And, and uh, that's what will be created over there on the right side. So you say do not sync. Scroll down. This is another thing that I suggest people do is that if you can get them to clean up their users. A lot of them have unused users that have been sitting in there for years past hygienists, things like that. And then you can go ahead and set, select the operatories. In this case, let's just say we want to synchronize those two. We'll create a new one. We're going to add a new auto item down here at the bottom. And let's just synchronize this one with emergency. We'll create a new one there. We'll synchronize this with Ashley. We'll create a new one there. You hit save. Again, make sure it's turned on and you've got everything going there turn on patients over here on the right side you do want to allow duplicates hit save and then what you can do is go back to your GHL go down to um, in this case Brainerd dentistry will show up as that new location for me uh, once I refresh the screen in my GHL so that's it very simple very easy to do the integ integrations and um, we're here to help. Um, I do want to talk just briefly about how to sell to dentists. This is something that once you become a client of ours, we will teach you how to sell your services to dentists. Talk about the personality types, talk about what's important to them, how to sell to them, what the cardinal rules are of selling to dentists, words to eliminate when you're talking to them, what's most important to the dentists and the dental teams, and what is not effective, how not to open. These guys are bombarded by marketing agencies, so keep that in mind. Talk about the magic words. Talk about what, what problems you're solving with this solution as well. Talk about how to ask questions, who to target, um, how to research them, what the conversion process looks like, how to get in and talk to them, how to handle certain situation, key tips of selling to them, ways of putting on webinars, subject lines, emails, etc. So we really want to help you sell your product, sell your agency services, sell GHL to dental practices. We're here as a resource. We've been doing this a long time. Happy to help. Excited to work with you. Go ahead and reach out to my team and let's get something scheduled.